Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays Flight and Review, or Review and Flight. Today I am going to be taking the de Havilland DH-80A Pus Moth. There's a lovely name for you. Alright, this particular one has, I think it was six liveries, um, some US Air Force, uh, Canadian... <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, red one, white one. Now I have taken this black and white with some gold on it. Uh, G A B L S. Now this is a originally, I think from the looks of it, a 2004 flight sim uh, conversion that was upgraded to FSX uh, and then converted by. Uh, Don Fanucci, who's done a few others uh, with permission from the original creators, which uh, is awesome. Now, the model on this was done very well. Look at this exhaust pipe poking out underneath there. The textures probably could do with a little more um, upgrading from FS2004. And you will notice that when you do come across FS2004 files, uh, Obviously, it was a little bit different. FSX, though, some of those were already 4K, which is way above what uh, Flight Simulator 10 could have done, or Flight Simulator X, as it's also known. All right, let's go back and have a look. So, now this particular one, I'm going to see if I can actually start this here, because it does say start on the runway, and I know I'm going against that, but I'm going to see if I can get this particular aircraft to start. And the biggest deal there might be that I might not be able to get the fuel pump working. Yeah, so if you're trying to cold start this, this is probably what you're going to find uh, happening all the time. If you let it roll start, it probably would already be working. So what we'll do, rather than starting over again and doing a rollout, I'm just going to pop it in here and get it in the air and automatically start it. There we go. So minus the takeoff, sorry about that, we normally do the takeoff, but... You do need to roll this one out onto the runway. So if you're starting on a runway where it doesn't have a taxiway uh, and it's automatically putting you on the end of the runway, just be aware that an aircraft that has been converted like this one may not actually start. You may need that uh, normal taxi time to uh, roll out for the plane to be automatically started for you. Just a bit of a but I am using a uh, version, well, it's actually beta 1.0. So what have we got? We've got RPM, no, RPM's not working. Oil pressure, I don't know if that went up or not. If I were to push that, I don't think that's moved. Knots, I did see moving. Uh, yep, I've got my level flight indicator and climb not necessarily altitude is definitely working now uh, the knots is definitely working so the rpm is not because even if i drop all the way back nothing's happening there all right definitely got some reflections on these windows uh, if you're against those reflections because they are a fixed thing you can go into the model converter x and hide them that's a, a possible thing because they're not moving with the reflection of light like they do in um, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 4.39 p.m. okay that's what I said on the building there I wonder if that's actually about right uh, let's have a look 4.30 p.m. Oh, nine minutes out it's pretty close
be interesting to find out if that uh, actually was a dynamic clock on the building. It seemed to be pretty close. I'm using uh, Orbix, uh, Sydney Airport and Sydney uh, Surround. Nice sound to this. It is free. The Pus Moth the link will be in the description. I'm going to bring this around to uh, runway 7. You do need to start on an active runway, not on a uh, cold start. As you can see, it was not turning over. Follow this river around and do a uh, immediately right turn. This is actually really easy to fly too. Take a couple of level of flaps. I can't see the flaps coming down. I'm guessing they're not modelled to move. That's a bit of a shame. Fifty-five percent. Holy schmoly! Are they underneath? No. Oh, well, the hover is 55% flaps. Oh, it's got some noise for the uh, landing gear as well. If you're interested in free aircraft, I'm not going to make this one a very long one as well. Uh, you will have to uh, start on the active runway again, like I said. Or do what I did, use the Y key on your keyboard, uh, F4 to go up in the air, and then just let it go. I'm going to go off the runway here. Let's try stopping. Oh, that was that's a that's a prop strike. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Links in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, all the rest. Cheers.